adjust the winch to make sure it's good operational order. But more importantly, uh, we're trying to develop some kind of coolant leak. It could be a hose. I hope it's not a head gasket, but it looks like we're not going to be making gonna be making that all the way to pine there we'll just camp somewhere around here and then uh, see what's what's wrong with the vehicle <laughs> nothing is going right today huh Nothing is going right today. Somehow, um, this thing was, when it was winded up, it, uh, I don't know what the heck. Is it well, see if, uh, if you run the uh, strap all the way out here. So we can hook it up. Then uh, well, oh, it needs to be yanked. It just uh, got wedged pretty well, you know. And I cut on. I really hope this is not a precursor to a power trip. Oh, you you better expect everything. Uh, I'm not expecting it. I just hope it doesn't. As a matter of fact, um, once we we'll, once we'll find a place to camp. We gotta take a look and see if we can replace that hose. I don't think it's a hose. You don't think it's a hose? I think it's coming from a supercharger. Well. Because it looks like it's coming higher from where I saw that hose. Well, we, we, we would know for sure until we actually take it apart. and try to unwind.
and that just how it goes. Mitch hooked up two tire compressors, well, air compressors, <laughs> and blew the fuse. <laughs> well, at least you're lucky it's just the fuse because it doesn't come with a little... Um... Jacob probably lost it. Oh. Do you know where he keeps his little spare fuses? I think Next. he used them all. I had... What happened to that plastic cover of... He uh... didn't have any small ones like this. Oh, the small ones. Well, what's, what's the second one? Where is the cap? It's also 15. Dome. Well, remove the dome and put it uh, for the power outlet. You can live without dome. Well, I'll, actually, I would like to build a tent to have a dome over my head if it starts raining tonight. I don't know. It's fog. Your mother was telling me that uh, they were promising. Tail. Look, oh, it's the same, uh, the same as on the, on the cruiser, the same kind of reservoir. Mm -hmm. Okay, the plan is shaping up. This is not the best place, and we might change it by the nightfall somebody left a bunch of garbage here we'll have to pick it up but mitch has figured it out and it's uh one of the hoses mitch give me the entry there's a hose leaking <laughs> right which hose i don't know what hose is just connected to the supercharger. it looks like it's uh, going to the supercharger we assume it's a to the, you, it's to the supercharger definitely okay well then i guess it's a uh, uh coolant cooled supercharger i don't know where the out and it's uh right well it's coming from probably somewhere from the engine i assume well anyway um he thinks that he can fix it fairly easy because the leak is all the way at the tip so he'll just cut it there's enough slack in the hose where it can be uh, um it can be a cut off the the split piece and put it on and then um, I always carried two gallons of coolant with me and Mitch when he uh, was driving don't look I, at me I always had the coolant in there I always carry coolant. Oh, well I did not remove it I didn't all right fine we, we don't know it's both of our faults because we didn't check it before leaving so anyway we don't have any coolant so we are max there is airing up the Toyota's tires because we were running at a 10 uh, yeah. And they going they going to go to town and get some um, some antifreeze and about four or five feet of um, of the hose just in case if if it's so brittle it will develop another leak. But it runs from the supercharger across over the engine and somewhere to the bottom of the engine. Mitch ha hasn't seen exactly where it. Uh, plugs into on the other side and did i mention catherine catherine is making us lunch 